Two landmark concertos by Beethoven are paired with works by Michael Tippett on this CSO program led by Sir Andrew Davis. Beethoven's Piano Concerto No. 1 in C major was a product of 1790s Vienna, where hundreds of pianists vied for fame and patronage. As a result, the piece was meant as a personal star vehicle more than any attempt at stretching stylistic boundaries. Though conservative, it's also a confident and good-humored concerto with a martial first movement, poignant largo, and a droll rondo finale. It was a breakout work, giving Beethoven new fans in Vienna and Prague. English pianist Paul Lewis is the soloist. Michael Tippett was a leading English composer of the past century who wrote large-scale works drawing on a variety of influences. He composed the Little Music for String Orchestra after spending two months in prison at the height of World War II. Tippett was a conscientious objector and was sent there after refusing to carry out war-related duties, seeing them as an unacceptable compromise. After release, he wrote this short piece for Reginald Jacques, a conductor who ran Britain's Arts Council and could provide him official work, thus avoiding any further trouble with the government. It's set in four well-crafted movements, a prelude, fugue, air, and finale. When Beethoven premiered his fourth piano concerto in 1808, he was nearly deaf. It would be his last public concert as a pianist. And quite a concert it was, a four-hour marathon of premieres that he staged at Vienna's Theater an der Wien. Beethoven opens the concerto unconventionally with a brooding piano monologue. This leads to a striking interplay between piano and orchestra in which the two parties both complement and clash with one another. Paul Lewis is again the soloist. <laughs> Finally, Tippett wrote the Preludium for Brass, Bells, and Percussion on a commission to mark the 40th anniversary of the BBC. Antal Dorati and the BBC Orchestra gave its premiere at a celebratory concert in 1962. The work is a study in sonority, at times solemn, regal, and very British. <laughs>